Okay, welcome back. This is Marcel, AI6MS, and this video is going to go through a little bit more detail about the icons on an individual candidate, uh, so you can see exactly what happens throughout the session. So we're going to go ahead and do this in a sandbox environment. That's beta.examtools.dev. Um, I'll log in here as the uh, session owner, and on my session list here, we're going to click on the demonstration session that we have set up this evening. So this is the standard screen that you'll be looking at when you have applicants in a session. You can see that this session is in progress and we have three applicants in here. Uh, if you mouse over any of these icons, it will tell you the status. So let's look at this first one. This candidate, uh, Kelvin Faraday, currently has no VEs assigned and has no signatures because he hasn't taken an exam. You'll notice on the far right here, there's no exam element that he's taken. Now, if we look at Francis Foxtrot, this candidate has three VEs that were assigned to them and has three signatures that are fully signed. You can see all three of them are signed when you click on it. And that's why it's green showing that that is completed. And their icon on the right here shows that their technician element two um, is green, meaning that they passed and that that is um, complete. Um, same thing here for uh, Steve, one of our VEs that was taking a, pretending to be an applicant. Uh, this, this also has three VEs assigned, three signatures, and a passing score. So if we go ahead and take Kelvin now, and uh, we'll log him into the session, right? So on the left here, I'm going to keep my VE screen up. And on the right, I'm going to show you the candidate screen. So when the candidate goes to join exam session, they'll enter the session call sign and their PIN. In this case, you can see the candidate's PIN is right here, 6968, right? So 6968, and then they would now be requesting to join the session. And on this applicant screen, you can see this icon showed up right here next to the candidate's pin, showing that this candidate wants to join the session. So I'm going to authorize this from here, confirm that this is that um, applicant, and then click Approve. So now this icon next under the pin number changed to purple, showing that they're logged into the session right now. Um, you'll notice that next to this VE icon, they're still the number zero showing that there are no VEs currently assigned to this candidate. Um, you don't need to assign the VEs uh, until the signatures need to be done, but it's often good practice, especially if you're running a fully remote exam, to go ahead and assign these um, as you're going through uh, with the applicant in one of the exam rooms virtually. So uh, in this case, we'll have an exam room and I'll go ahead and add some of the VEs that are here. So if, by clicking on that, you can see this assign VE button. And this is only available depending on the permission level that you have, but we'll cover that in another video. So based on uh, either the session owner, the team lead, or a VE admin in the session can go ahead and add VEs. So I can add myself here. Um, I can add uh, Sarah and we'll go ahead and add Jeremy. Um, so we have uh, three VEs. So now you see that this grayed out. So we have these three VEs. When you hover over it, you'll see the three volunteer examiners that are assigned to this candidate. So we can go ahead and uh, run through an exam real quick. Um, again, as soon as the candidate wanted to authorize the exam, uh, one of the VEs has to uh, actually st click on the start exam to actually get them started. So here we can check. This is where we go through, finish the room checks, make sure all three VEs are ready. Everyone mute cameras, go on mute, um, and then go ahead and approve the candidate to start their exam. Okay, this candidate has now finished their exam. And at the very end, when they're complete, you'll notice that this candidate's blue icon has gone all the way to the end here. And as soon as they click grade exam, again, this red request icon will show up next to the candidate. So anytime you see that red pending action item on this candidate, then you'll know there's something you need to do. So we'll go ahead and click on that. In this case, it's asking me to grade the exam. Grading the exam does require a password from one of the authorizing VEs. So we'll go ahead and approve that. And this candidate did pass. So they got a 31 out of 35 um, and passed. Um, at this point, the candidate's no longer blue, so they're not currently taking an exam. And you'll see that the element two here on the right um, shows their passing score and shows green that it's been completed. So at this point, the candidate could take the general exam, or they can go ahead and finish and sign their forms. It depends on your volunteer examiner team's uh, policies on taking the next exam. So we'll go ahead and finish this one and sign. Um, this is where they can review their CSCE or their forms, or they can just sign it here. So we're going to sign as Kelvin Faraday and then hit sign. 
So as soon as they have signed, you'll notice again on this um, VE screen, there's now this signatures field. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up a little bit so you can see. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and do the signatures. So as um, myself, so AS6MS, I'm going to go ahead and sign in here for this candidate. Um, I'd preview the forms just to make sure that they um, show up the way I want them to. So in this case, I would see that you know the candidate's name is correct. They passed their technician element two and their signature is correct. Um, and then this is all their information uh, in the 605 form and that should look correct. And again, their signature showing up here um, and all of this. So we can go ahead and close this out and I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign this one and it'll use that save signature, which you can see since I'm the one logged in on this account. And once you have that one saved signature, that number goes up to one. Of course, we need all three VEs to sign um, and they can either sign from this computer uh, and log in here so we can show that. So Sarah can come in here. I cannot see this because she's not logged in on this computer, but if she uses her password here to sign for this candidate, then that will successfully sign. So now we have two of our VEs have signed. And we could do the same thing for Jeremy here, or he could do it from his computer, um, depending on uh, what he wants uh, to do there. So at this point, all three VEs have signed, and you'll see that they all show up here. And again, this candidate now is completely green with the element two complete and all signatures complete. So they're ready to go. At the end of this, at this point, the, the VE team lead may choose to go ahead and uh, finish this candidate and mark them complete. What this does is this finalize the candidate. So at this point, they cannot do any um, more changes to the applicant. Um, this is a bug right now in the system, so you can just ignore that note, um, but we can go ahead and preview the forms. And at this point, this form preview should include all the signatures from the VEs, and you'll see that's here. So we've got the call signs and the signatures from each VE in the uh, CSCE. And then on the 605, we've got the candidate signature and then all three VE signatures down here as well. So that um, works out very nicely. So I can go ahead and sign this one and mark this candidate as complete. And you notice the completed applicants are now down here in this lower section, and it has the locked icon now over the signatures. So I cannot no longer make any changes to this candidate. Um, so this is really what you wanna to do towards the end of the session and have the team lead or an authorized representative um, go through and start marking all these candidates, um, just so you know that you've completely processed them. Um, that's all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and hope you watch the rest of them.